Hey. Got a coaching thing in about a half hour. I haven't heard back from her, though. Hey, good morning. 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And it's about 7.30 on a Wednesday. And it is our 530th episode. And I'm experimenting with the uh, go live. There's a capability of telling people when you're going to go live. So I'm just setting up, see how much earlier I have to trigger when I'm going to do it. And so if you see me go a little bit later, I'm playing around with the settings in YouTube right now and experimenting, see how all this works, how much in advance you have to do in order for people to get noticed when you're going to go live. Because I know it'll send a half hour notice, like the half hour before you go live. Anyway, I am Greg Messer, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And here on the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, we talk about Agile and Scrum in a practical and tactical way so we can bring value and uh, do it without working crazy hours and then getting home to family and friends, have fun at work, have fun at, at home. So it's a well-balanced life and everything, even though some people say you work 24 seven on them. I don't necessarily believe that. Um, so we're going to talk about two things today and I got a couple items. I just want to bring up. Um, we're going to talk about making appointments with oneself. I saw, I, I, I read that it was a really good piece of advice. And then, um, a myth of agile I heard yesterday that I, I went to a seminar. It was a good seminar talking about UX and UI. Uh, the guy is very knowledgeable what he knows. I don't necessarily agree with all the things he says about agile, but his it's his take on agile and what it was. But he came up with some myths that I want to talk about today. And then the other thing, it just got some new. Um, I'm not going to do the Jira thing this weekend only because my wife is getting her second um, vaccination shot because she does medical stuff this weekend and she's worried that she's going to be sick so to not stress her out so you have to do things sometimes with the other people in mind even though I'm already like what are you doing all weekend so I'm not going to do it this week I'm going to do it the following weekend and which is good because I got some advice from another uh, one of my um, coaches out in New Zealand uh, that he's like well, you know, give more time to get more people to know about what you're going to do. So I'm going to promote a little more. So we're not going to do it this week. We're going to do it the following Friday. And then we're going to start the 24-hour countdown. And you can, all can watch me fall on my face on the keyboard. Okay? <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. News on that, uh, the other news front is that um, in February, I am going to do a meetup group um, in New Zealand. So I'm going to be doing that too. Just talking to people around the world about Scrum and Agile and just promoting it and asking questions, answering questions and, and supporting fellow Agilists. The people who are thinking about Agile, trying to figure out what it is, how to do it, and what's out there. So we're just going all around the world. So, and I feel bad because I didn't write down where I got this down. But I, I wrote, I was watching a video and the guy met, recommended making an appointment with oneself. And I thought that was an awesome idea. Everybody's calendars are full. You're a leader, right? Um, if you're a leader in a group, one of his piece of advice was make an appointment with yourself for a half hour and I or something. And he was saying a little longer, but I've seen so many people that take the whole day, you know, like so I can do my work. But it's not a do a work appointment. It is a get your head together appointment with yourself for a half hour, 15 minutes. You'd be amazed how long it feels like 15 minutes. Like if you had to force yourself not to do something for 15 minutes or a half hour and just think about what you have on your Kanban board or what's going on, what are the things going on? Not really just getting your thoughts organized, planning your day, whatever. Um, it's, ama it's, it's amazing how much stuff you can really cover. But I like the idea of make if you're a leader, I mean, I'm talking or anybody, anybody should do this really in your calendar. Give yourself a half hour, 15 minutes or a half hour, just for an appointment with yourself. Nobody else in it, just you getting your thoughts together, what you want to do. And I think that will help you plan your day. I mean, it's the same idea. Maybe we, we apply the scrum principles where we do a 15 minute um, daily scrum. Maybe you should do a 15 minute daily scrum with just yourself. It'd be really awesome if you did that before 
you get into the daily scrum. So if you can do 15 minutes, set yourself an appointment in your calendar before the daily scrum just to get your thoughts around what do you want to do, what you're looking at, what's going on, what are your priorities today, what are your what are your goals for your personal goals to accomplish over the rest of the day, and then go into daily scrum. That would be awesome. I think your daily scrums, if you can encourage your teams to do such things, you know, hey, make a 15-minute – just. Have a conversation. This is what scrum masters are supposed to do. This is what agile coaches are supposed to do. So you go to the team, you know, set yourselves an appointment 15 minutes before the daily scrum. And in that 15 minutes, don't do any work. Just get your thoughts about what you do. Visualize what you're going to do for the day and just plan it out. And, and you'll be better off. Now, on the leadership, probably want to take a half hour because you want to look at the future, how we go into our current goal monthly goal, quarterly goal, yearly goal, five-year goal, you know, those are the kind of things that you might want to do once a week and just take a half hour and just make that appointment yourself and just a goal, goal planning, goal adjustments, maybe goal, agile goals, right? Call it agile goals. And every week do a half hour, do an agile goal session and um, plan out your current monthly, quarterly, yearly, and five-year goal. Right. And see how much you got adjust. And are you working on those goals? You need to redirect yourself back into those goals. So, again, I thought that was an awesome idea. Make an appointment with your once with yourself to establish your goals for today. Two points. Make a little 15 minute one before your daily scrum. Get your thoughts together for the day. Make a half hour one once a week that talks about your current goals, monthly goals, yearly or quarterly goals yearly goals and and five-year goals okay so that's it make so make two appointments with yourself i should say make two appointments with yourself and then another thing a myth so i wrote this down um because this is what he said um the myth that was said was agile was created to make better estimating really i heard that i almost fell out of my chair the whole purpose behind Agile is to make better wrestling. I mean, if you stretch it, you could do it that way because the way we break things down, you can, you can use your logic to say, well, this is what they're trying to do. But it's really not. Um, think of it this way. <laughs> if you went to an Agile team, you went to a development team, I'm, I'm like, before I go tell you what I think it, what Agile is, let's think about this. If you said to an Agile team, their purpose here was to become better estimators. you get laughed out of the room, wouldn't you? I mean, seriously. If I were to say your whole purpose to become an Agile team was to become better estimators, they would all just, if you were in a real room together, it wasn't virtual, they would take papers, roll it up, and throw it at you. They would. I mean, seriously. I mean, does that make sense? We, we did all this. I mean, seriously, think about before I go and what I think Agile is and why it's here. We put Agile together for the purpose of becoming better estimators of our work. Does that really make sense? You put a whole team together, a team together to become better estimators. That makes absolutely no freaking sense. So, so the, and I, I get it at their high, at their level. They just say, oh, you're just doing this so you can make better estimates of how much time it's going to take to do the job. Well, no. So what my opinion Agile is, is about bringing better value, appropriate value to the customer, right? And why do I say appropriate value? Now we have our, we have our four values, right? Interaction um, over processes and tools, right? And then, and then working software over documentation. But, but nowhere in there it talks about estimation. There's planning, right? But even adjust over following a plan. And even that, we don't even talk about estimating. So there is nothing about estimating in, in the four values for Agile Manifesto. But what the value is, I'm going to say appropriate. The ability to prioritize the work we want to do, make the work so we can deliver value in a timely manner to the customer. Also, the appropriate value. And that's where the change or following plan comes. What if your competition decides that they're going to buy something or, you know, GameStop, 
well, I was going to buy GameStop, you know. So, so maybe, maybe that's, you know, stuff happens. Stuff happens on an instant. And your ability to adjust to that new threat or new opportunity is what Agile is about. To bring more appropriate value to your company and to your customer, right? And to yourself, right? And and because and we also don't want to work on stuff that has no value. When I was doing the Jira thing, I'm reading through the list, there's stuff in there from 17 years ago. Really? And you're wasting time and energy tracking something that's been in the backlog for 17 years. Delete the damn thing. Just delete it. This is where someone with guts needs to come in and say, as a real product owner, says, yeah, I don't care. If it'll come up, it'll come up. But we're, we're done with it, right? Unless, because if it was that tragic and, and ability to destroy our company, we should have fixed it 17 years ago. I'm just saying, right? Just close the damn thing. Just close it for too old. And I would actually write old. And if it comes back again and the customer wants it, then we'll do it. But I don't care anymore. So, so that's the appropriate value to the customer. So again, what do, what do we got today? Make an appointment with yourself. Make two, maybe. One, a 15-minute appointment with yourself before Daily Scrum. Even a five-minute appointment with yourself before Daily Scrum. Where it's just you, your thoughts, what you're planning for the day, what you're looking at. Look at the whole team. That would be, my God, can you imagine your team? I mean, seriously, think about this. I'm sorry going back to this. Think about this. Can you imagine how productive your team would be? If they would all set 15 minutes for their own self, an appointment with themselves before daily scrum, think about what they're going to do and look at the entire team and how the entire team's going and being prepared before daily scrum. Even yourself as a scrum master or me as a coach. Just look, taking 15 minutes before all these daily scrums kick in. Look at how all your teams are doing and how everything's going. Oh, my God. God, you'd be just like producing. It would be awesome. Daily scrums would be like boom. Things would get done and just prep for it. And there would be some real lively discussion because the brain is prepared for it. Anyway, that was my rant for the 15. So before your daily scrum, set up a, a personal appointment. And then once a week, set up an appointment. Talk about what you're what you're doing, that, that sprint what your goals for the month are. Think about what your goals are for a quarter. Think about your goals for a year and think about your goals for five years. Now, if you don't plan that way, what you may think personal goals, goals for the company, what are you seeing? And it definitely in leadership, leadership always should have like a half hour appointment for themselves and look at all those goals and see, and just stare at them, put them on a whiteboard on the wall and just stare at those goals and adjust your organization based on you working to those goals. Do you need to adjust those goals? Do you need new goals? Maybe something radically happened and we got to do something new. So that's the meeting appointment with yourself. And then the other thing was the myth. Agile is not about doing better estimating. Again, could you imagine asking your team, oh, we put you all together of all these different groups. So that you can do a better job at estimating your work. I mean, really, does that have any logic to sound like appropriate? Why you put a whole team together and invest all this money and all this effort just to become better estimators? I mean, really, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, hey, I hope you all have a good day. It is Wednesday, maybe Thursday over offshore on the other side of the planet. Give us a thumbs up if you like the show. Ring the little bell so you get notification. I'm going to try to get it where I started up earlier so there's a pre-notification to tell you I'm going to be live in like in a half hour. I'm trying to figure out what that time range is and how all that works in uh, YouTube. So I wish you all the best today and happy scrumming. Stay safe, stay healthy. And again, I'm going to be doing the Jira thing, not this Friday, but the following Friday so that my wife feels good and then she doesn't panic. <laughs> She's worried about the kids. All right. Take care, you all. Be good. Have fun. Bye.